Hello, we want to find the solution to this given problem. I remain Dr. OJ Digitals. You are welcome to this video. In this video, we want to discuss how to solve this problem. We want to solve this problem once and for all. This problem is about Taylor series. We are asked to determine the second degree Taylor polynomial linear approximation L of x, y and q of s, y for the following functions of x and y near the given point f of x, y is equal to sine 2x plus cos y for s, y near the point 0, 0. Now, two things are expected to be done here. To approximate, you know, the given polynomial uh, function in, with respect to L of x, y, that is linear approximation, and uh, the other one which is a second degree approximation. For the linear approximation, you are invariably looking for first degree approximation. While for the uh, second one, is for second degree approximation. So now, how do we go about this? How do we go about this? Now, let's 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 start. Um, our approximation, you know. Near the point 0, 0, you have to bear that in mind. So our approximation, our approximation, you know, that is the given function uh, by formula will be with respect to f of 0, 0, you know, plus, that is, a, that is a, we are writing down the formula now. Oh, let me start with, let me write the solution so that it will be appropriate enough. Let me start with the solution. Sorry about this. Solution. <clears throat> so we start with the given function will be f of x comma y to approximate it to have f of zero comma zero. Okay, plus the the partial derivative of f of x. You understand this f sub with x. That is the the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Okay. 0, 0, plus, you know, f of y, you multiply, sorry, you multiply x by this, sorry about this, then plus f of y, that is a f, partially the rule of f with respect to y, of 0, 0, multiplied by y, then plus 1 all over 2 into, now, f x x this fx means second degree of partial degree of f with respect to x with respect uh, to the points 0 comma 0 x squared then plus you know 2 f x y at the point 0 comma 0 multiplied by x y then plus the last one will be f of y y at the point zero comma zero, and then multiply by y squared. So this is the formula we actually want to use. Okay, this is the formula we want to use. Now we have written out the formula, and uh, from the formula you could see clearly that uh, the linear version of this formula is this. Why the quadratic version? That is the second degree. You can see that f of f x x means, like I told you. Second degree of what the partiality of f with respect to x, and this one also involves second degree because we are we are differentiating f x at the same time we are differentiating with respect to y. First of all, differentiate with respect to x partially, then we differentiate the result with respect to y. Now the last one we have f y y that is we are differentiating twice we are differentiating y twice. So now let's let's start the differentiation. Let's start the differentiation. Let's start. Let's start the differentiation. Now, this is the given equation. The given equation is a, the, the given function is f of x comma y is equal to sine two x plus uh, cos uh, y. Now, so let's start with this. What is f of zero comma zero from this particular uh, function? That is when x is 0 and y is 0. So we have sine 2 multiplied by 0 
plus cos, you know, zero. I hope you understand what I did there. So x is zero, y is zero. Because x, don't forget our a comma b is equal to zero comma zero. Okay? Uh -huh. So, so we, are, we want to approximate near the point zero comma zero. Okay? Without wasting our time, this will be what? Sine zero plus cos zero is one. Sine zero is zero, so you have zero plus one. This is one. So f of zero comma zero is one. Beautiful. Now, what is f of x with respect to zero comma zero? Now, let's first of all differentiate partially this function with respect to x. So by the time you differentiate this function with respect to x, you need the knowledge of your what? Of your differentiation here. But this is partial differentiation. It's a certain point, a certain value is kept constant while the other one is varied. So this is where I want to what? Differentiate with respect to x, y, y is constant. So now sine 2x, don't forget, it's like saying sine u. But because it has, it has a, 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 you know, a, a, a number here, it has a, a natural number 2. So now your 2 will come out. That's the, that's the logic. So you say what? 2. Now, when you now differentiate this, this one now, you have what? You have cos 2x. What I've just done here is, if you differentiate 2x, you win 2. So you bring that 2 out. Then you now differentiate everything here. That's cos 2x. Now, plus, this is what? Cos y. But remember, you are differentiating with respect to what? With respect to x. So cos y will be 0. Okay? Good. Now, putting, using what? Using this uh, point, x0, zero, y0. Zero. So we can have here 2 cos 2, 0. Okay? That would be what? 2 times cos 0. And cos 0 is equal to 1. So you are saying 2 times 1. That is what? 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay? So the answer there is 2. I hope you are getting that. Beautiful. Now, let's, let's continue. Let's continue. Now, to get f f y zero comma zero let's do that you know our the problem is uh, sine two y sine two y um what is it that's the problem sine two x plus cos two y okay sine two x plus cos y that is the problem sine two x plus cos y all right now we want to differentiate with respect to y partially and the, the problem is what sine two x plus cos y here, there's no y. There's no y variable. But here, there's y. So everything here will be 0 plus. Now, we are differentiating cos what? Cos 2y here. I mean, cos y here. So, you know, cos, when you differentiate cos, you have negative sign. So you have minus sine y. Okay? Please, I hope you are following. Beautiful. So cos y, when you differentiate it, will be what? Minus sine y. So 0 minus sine y, that's what? Minus sine y. So by the time you now apply this point, 0 comma 0, x is 0, y is 0. You have only y here. So that will be minus sine 0. And that's 0. Okay? Minus sine 0 is 0. There's nothing like minus 0. Okay? Now, having done that, we have done this, we have done this. Now we go to the higher derivative, second degree second degree. Now, let's start with this. F x x of 0 comma 0. What does that give us? Good. Go back to where you have fx. What did you get for your fx when you differentiate it? You have what? 2 cos 2x. Beautiful. Now, you have to now differentiate, you know, let me, let me write it appropriately so that, uh, let's see, Partial degree of uh, 2 cos 2x. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, thank God it is what? 2 cos 2x. And we are differentiating with what? Respect to x. So it is differentiable. It will not be 0. Now, don't forget, you differentiate this 2x. It will give you 2. Yes. When you differentiate 2x itself, it will give you 2. Beautiful. Now, use that 2 to multiply what you have there. 2 times 2 is 4. Then, when you differentiate cos 
something. When you rotate cos something, it gives you what? Minus sign something. And since we have two x there, minus sign two x. So the whole of this now is what? Minus four sine two x. That is what this one will be. Okay? Now, putting zero comma zero there, that is putting the points there, when x is zero and y is zero. So what do we get? Now, that will be what? This will be minus four sine two times zero. And don't forget, this one will give us minus four sine zero. Because two times zero is zero. And so, and sine zero is what? Sine zero is, is zero. So that means 4 times 0 is 0. Okay? 4 times 0 is 0. So this one gives us 0. All right. Good. Now, we are done with that. So let's go to F subscript XY of 0, 0. Now, we want to differentiate. We have already differentiated that FX. So now we want to differentiate what? That FX with respect to Y. So that means we want to differentiate... Uh, we have already differentiated, so we now get into what is fx? Our fx is what? 2 cos 2x. All right, again. Now, differentiating it with respect to y now, it will be 0 because it doesn't have y. Okay? I think that is clear. Good. Now, the last one, f substitute y, y at 0, 0. That is one to differentiate uh, with respect to y as well. Fy, what is our Fy? Is Fy gives us what? Uh, minus sine y. All right, when we differentiated it, minus sine y. So now we want to differentiate with respect to y again. So this minus is coming out, it's minus sine y. When we raise sine y, you have cos, cos y. That is it, you have cos y. Okay, so I'm now putting the, the points there. You have what? Minus cos 0. And that is what? Cos 0 is 1, so that will be one minus 1. So we have gotten all the required values. So let's write, the, let's write them somewhere so that um, we won't have problems when we want to uh, fix them up. So f 0, 0 is 1. fx 0, 0 is um, 2. fy 0, 0 is um, 0. Okay. Fxx, 0, 0 is, um, I think that is 0. Beautiful. Fxy, 0, 0. That one will give us 0. All right. And uh, Fyy, 0, 0 give us minus 1. <laughs> so we can clean them up now. You can clean all this up and now do the fixing. Okay, now clean them up and do the fixing. Yes, let's let's do the fixing now. Okay, recall I said f of x, comma y. If you want to approximate it, what f of zero, comma zero. Plus what? Fx, you know, of 0, comma 0, multiplied by x, plus, you know, f what? Fy of 0, comma 0, multiplied by y. Now plus half into, you know, uh, fxx of 0, comma 0, multiplied by x squared, you know, plus 2fxy of 0, comma 0, multiply by xy, then plus fyy of 0, 0, multiply by y squared. You may be wondering, how did I get this? You know, it's just like when you expand x plus y squared, when you expand x plus y squared, it will be what? x plus y times x plus y. So by the time you expand, x times x will be x squared. You, so you don't have to get the coefficient of what we are talking about. x times y will be xy y times x is plus xy, y times y is plus y squared. So you get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So these are the coefficient of your differential values, the, the partial differential values there. You have x squared plus 2 times xy, you can see, and plus y squared. 
Okay, that's how we got that because we want we are talking about second degree of the partial differentiation. So now let's let's fix them up. All right. So let's fix them up. F of x y now will be f of zero comma zero. You get one there plus f of f x of zero comma zero. We have two. So we put x. We are multiplying by x here. Beautiful. Plus f. That is partial degree of f or uh, f y. That gives us zero. Zero times y. That's zero. Plus half now into f x x is also zero. Zero times x y. That's zero. Plus beautiful f x y. F x y is also zero. That is zero. Plus f y y. That is minus one. That is minus y squared. That is minus one times y squared. You know, f y y is minus one. So we might like. So opening the bracket up now, you have what? You have one plus two x. You know, plus now one over two times this. You have minus one over two y squared. How do we get that? So in this case, in this case, let's look at the the you know. The, the linear values here. The linear values here, this is the linear L of s comma y is one plus two x. You know, y the you know the second degree, the quadratic value here is minus one over two y squared. So that is the solution to the problem. Thank you.